What do you mean VHRT is buggy and the marks often aren't showing targeting icons? What is this, a computer game? Yeah. 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 So what if the Bounty Hunter Guild says I've been flying in my underwear? Everyone flies bounties in their underwear. Who wants to risk a 20,000 credit suit of battle armor? No, Hank, I don't bite my underwear on the ground. That's when you need a 20,000 credit suit of battle armor. Jeez! Look, I don't know what's going on lately. Asteroids are just spawning in out of nowhere, and the bad guys lately are really rammy. You're my agent. Now give me a VHRT mission. I have a ship to repair. Oh, all you have are medium risk missions? Fine, I'll take your stupid mission. But first, I'm going ice fishing. I don't care how much you paid me to fight in Crusader. If you don't have a decent mission for me, I'm going ice fishing. Where the hell am I going to go ice fishing in Crusader? I'll have you know I know a little spot in Yela. Yes, I know those lakes were formed a billion years ago when asteroids impacted the surface and briefly melted the ice and now they're frozen to the bottom, so what? Look, I have a banged up ship to fly, so I'm gonna go now. Hank just doesn't get it. Ice fishing ain't about catching fish. Ice fishing's about fishing in a lake with no fish at all. Especially if it means fishing in your underwear. Now I'm gonna hang out here on Yela for a while. And since the servers are too buggy to fly a decent combat mission today, we're gonna go back and take a look at some flight records and study, not a ship build, but some hardware that's very, very useful. A lot of you probably have already heard of it, Track IR. Now for myself, I prefer Track IR definitely over using HOTUS or mouse commands to look around the cockpit and out in the world all around me. And I also prefer it over VR. And that's mainly because I have a pretty thorough cockpit set up here and I like to be able to see all the controls and there are a lot of controls. So what I prefer is Track IR. Track IR has been around for quite a few years now. It's a simple technology that uses a device that looks a lot like a webcam mounted on top of your monitor, and it emits a beam of infrared light, which impacts off a sensor that you should wear on a small hat like a baseball cap. And the Track IR device uses that infrared light to triangulate the movements of your head very precisely. It allows you to look around the environment, including your cockpit, very accurately. This way, even if you're using a monitor, you can look all around you very much as if you're in virtual reality. I mean, virtual reality, really, is just a couple tiny monitors mounted in front of your eyes that use an INS device to track head movement and give you a similar effect. The advantage of virtual reality is it's more immersive, I'm sure, because it looks like the world is really wrapped all around you. Whereas the disadvantage using track IR on a monitor is the world that you see is limited to the monitor. But then again, you do get to see your controls, and that's very important to me. Especially since Star Citizen is not the only thing I do, and flight sims require even more controls, and they're laid out differently. But Track IR gives an additional advantage in combat in Star Citizen. I don't know if this is something that was overlooked, making it the equivalent of a beneficial bug, or if it was intended to actually be a benefit of using Track IR, but it's definitely beneficial. I'm talking about the fact that with Track IR, you really don't have to bother pinning targets or worrying about cycling between friendlies and unfriendlies or punching that button to target the closest foe or any of the other complicated stuff that Star Citizen might otherwise have you doing. With Track IR, you can simply look at a target and lock it. As I've said before, I do a lot of flight simming, mainly with DCS. And in so much as possible, I've set up my HOTUS to resemble the controls of what is to me the familiar F-16. Now in modern aircraft, one would either use the IFF, the Identify Friend or Foe radio signals, to determine what is an enemy versus friendly aircraft, or one would have to get close enough to get a visual confirmation, and both of which are fairly complicated topics in themselves. But Star Citizen is not really aiming to be a hardcore flight or space sim, and it makes the Identify Friend or Foe function much simpler. Maybe that'll change in the future, but for now it is extremely simple. Enemies just sort of magically self-identify as red. Awfully convenient of them, isn't it? So there's no point really in wasting time with a categorization process like the pinning procedure. You might as well just delve right into the fight. And with Track IR, I can look around me 
and get a sense of who needs to be my target priority. And when I look directly at a target, its icon will glow more brightly than the others, at which point I can lock that target. On my HOTUS system, that's TMS up. Those of you familiar with DCS will know what that means. For me, with thousands of hours on DCS, a target lock is always going to be TMS up. For you, if you don't do combat flight sims, you can set this up on your HOTUS anywhere you want. My recommendation is to do what military pilots do and designate the left top hat switch on your joystick as your TMS or your target managing system. Button up to lock, button down to unlock. And if you're using track IR, that's as complicated as you need to make it. All you have to do from there is look directly at a target. It'll instantly glow brighter, at which point you can lock it. If you decide you don't want it locked, press TMS down to unlock it. And you don't even have to bother pressing TMS down to unlock targets if you need to quickly switch from one target to the next. Just look directly at the next target till it glows brightly and press TMS up or target lock and that target will instantly be locked. You can probably already see then that using track IR, you don't need to worry about the many targeting functions that Star Citizen otherwise offers, such as target the next closest enemy or targeting friends for scanning or whatever purpose. You don't have to worry about pinning to categorize. You simply target whatever you're looking at. This makes targeting very simple, very fast and very powerful. The general rule I use when going into a combat scenario is to quickly glance at all the ships I'm up against and assess which one is likely to be the highest threat. That ship will be the one that I'll look at and target lock. If another powerful ship is closing fast, however, and gets closer than the one I had at first target locked, all I have to do is look at it to change the lock. I don't even have to unlock the previous ship. I can just press TMS up or target lock again, and it will instantly be locked. In the clip above, I've gone against some medium risk targets. I would have demonstrated with VHRTs, but the server really is badly bugged right now. And for whatever reason, a lot of the VHRT targets simply are not producing icons. They can't be locked onto. It's as if they have perfect stealth. But the MRTs are working fine. So what I'm doing is I've taken an MRT mission and I'm flying around them, targeting one ship, then the next ship. I'm honestly not making any particular effort to kill them. I'm just flying through the thick of them, targeting one ship after another. And at the moment, I have a MISC Freelancer locked. I'm going to hit him a bit with distortion weapons and maybe the occasional light strike to get on his nerves until one of his buddies becomes interesting enough that I decide to change the lock. So one of his buddies is about to fly right in front of me and you'll see when I look at him, his icon becomes bright red. I could lock him at that point, but instead I go ahead and lock the mark behind him. However, the mark seems much less interesting or of concern than his buddy who has just slipped around to my six. So I'm going to go ahead and come around and lock him up. Another thing you might have noticed here is I don't have to have the ship pointed in the direction of the target to lock it. Star Citizen presumes that you are wearing a helmet mounted display which augments your HUD, the heads up display that's displayed against your cockpit window. And so, just like with many modern fighter aircraft such as the A-10C2, the F-16 and the F-35, all you have to do is look in the direction of a target to lock it up. And just like with modern aircraft, this doesn't extend to 360 degrees in every direction. But you only have to have your ship pointed roughly in the target's direction to be able to lock them. Notice here the mark flying right in front of our nose. And I have no particular reason to target lock him rather than finish the ship I was already locked onto. But as he's volunteered to get on our 12 o'clock on a whim and to demonstrate how easy it is to lock and unlock targets, I've gone ahead and locked him up and we'll take some shots at him with the ATVS distortion cannons. All right, let's decouple and rocket outside the plane of this asteroid belt and see if we can get two or three of the bogeys to chase us. I'll reverse and fire braking thrusters because I don't want to get too far away from them. I want them to come after me. And I'll go ahead and recouple so that we properly stop. This is really just to demonstrate how amazingly effective track IR is in managing targets. The mark is a good 12 kilometers away, but closing fast, we'll have to keep our eyes on them. Let's check his buddies. To get their telemetry, we'll just look their way till their icons light up and take a moment to lock up each one. The mark is playing most aggressive, so we'll just come around, look his way till he glows and instantly lock him up. 
It's just a freelancer, and at this point, if I wanted to kill him, it would be as easy as knocking down his shields and hitting him a few times with the enormous Light Strike 5 that my Vanguard Sentinel carries. Now, a final note even with Track IR, pinning does come in handy in multi crew ships with turrets as a way of designating targets for the turret crew. So it's not like Track IR target locking makes pinning irrelevant, but that's a topic for another video. Wow, the server is so buggy today. Not only are VHRT missions messed up, but it's as if the system is occasionally forgetting the curves I set up. I find myself greatly overturning with minimal movement now and then. And look at that, the desync right there. Well, hopefully they'll get this cleared up soon. I've already jumped servers two or three different times and this keeps happening. So we'll just kill the mark, get our petty little pay for that, and then I think it's off to have a Budweiser. Well, I hope you had fun and learned something in the verse today. And if it inspired you to get a track IR, let me know. Or if you already have one and haven't used it in a while and decided to give it another shot, let me know. I'd also love to know if targeting works like this with VR devices or maybe some VR devices where you can just look at a target to lock it up. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch Cerulean Skies, where the goal is for us all to have fun and learn something. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if I can, I'll answer them. And if you like what you see, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really helps. Yeah, time for that Budweiser. Oh shit, it's already frozen. Oh shit, I can't take my helmet off.